Okay, so first of all, thank you for all uh, being here this morning. Um, I think this is the um, a very good opportunity to listen to, to outstanding speakers. This is the third edition of our uh, Huawei Yashuas workshop. As you know, uh, since uh, to more than two years now, we've been doing um, in every year, mostly in April, um, a workshop where we gather uh, the best mathematicians of Yashuas, but also more broadly around uh, the, the region of, of Paris-Saclay and also around Huawei to discuss, I would say, new topics emerging in the field of ICT. Uh, this year, uh, we had a discussion with Emmanuel and we decided that, of course, uh, as you know, with the big hype that is going on around now with uh, machine learning and AI, to focus uh, the workshop this year around the topic of AI in general and more specifically to ICT. Uh, rapidly, for, for people who don't know, I know there's a lot of people here coming also outside Huawei. You have to ho know that Huawei is one of the leading companies in the ICT industry, uh, working in uh, majorly in uh, three sectors. Uh, one, as you may know, is the case of mobile phones, and I think you're all familiar uh, with our mobile phone and logos that are going around in all places. The second is what we call the infrastructure, where we sell base station, uh, uh, to that you have, antennas and others. And the other is, of course, the world of enterprise, where basically all the telephones that you have in uh, companies are also data centers concern us. It turns out that uh, since a couple of years, uh, many companies, uh, ICTs, are going towards the fact that they want to have more and more intelligent networks. And it turns out that's one of the purpose we're doing this workshop is to understand basically uh, the need, but also the breakthroughs that are being done at the moment in the field of algorithms and in the field of algorithms in AI and how they can be mapped into our industry and help, of course, improve our uh, customer experience and also improve our industry. That's basically the uh, global view of Huawei and AI. For people who are interested, we have a research center here in Paris, uh, located in boulogne billancourt and the majority here of mathematicians come from that research center, focused on uh, three domains. One is the domain of 5G, mostly algorithms for 5G. The second domain, which is also very important for us, is the domain of, uh, of uh, 4.5G, and we have also uh, many of our, of our uh, mathematicians working on improvement improving the, I would say, the telecommunication industry as it is now. The third one is around virtualization of network, and we have many of our uh, mathematicians working also on everything which is related to routing optimization problem. And the third one, which is very important, and I'm very happy to have one of the representative of our research center here, is the domain of AI and machine learning, where we have also a team working on the general topic of big data for telecom. And you'll hear also one of the talks related to that uh, this morning. I'll give all now the speech also to Emmanuel so he can introduce rapidly what is IHS and why we decided also to have some close collaboration which, with the IHS since two years. So f f thanks a lot and uh, welcome to this third edition of uh, Huawei IHS uh, workshops. So <coughs> um, we have, a, I would say, a long collaboration with Huawei who started maybe uh, eight years ago, and uh, we we have to acknowledge a, a very long uh, support from uh, Huawei to our institution. I think we share some values. Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, IHS is a, a, a center uh, for fundamental science, I would say. So we are uh, very oriented to mathematics and uh, theoretical physics. <coughs> the, um, uh, we host a very large program of uh, visitors, uh, more than uh, 200 visitors every year, staying uh, an average of two months and a half. At any, at any moment, we have uh, maybe 50 uh, visitors here. And uh, uh, these visitors are coming from more than 60 uh, nationalities for in the last five years, for example. So uh, uh, we, uh, we, we have a, a very high level of expectation uh, for uh, the permanent uh, staff. So, for example, uh, uh, out of 10 uh, uh, professors in mathematics hired at IHS, 
seven were awarded the Fields Medal. Uh, we uh, have uh, uh, also the use to take risk in hiring people uh, quite young. The average uh, age for hiring a, a permanent professor in math here is 31. So it's, uh, we, we try to have people uh, doing their work uh, 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 here when uh, they are young and uh, we are not only uh, selecting people when they did their career. So we try to have this uh, 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 as a way of uh, operating. And uh, uh, so it's really a pleasure to have uh, this edition uh, uh, with Huawei. I think we uh, did some very good uh, jobs uh, the last two workshops, and uh, the program today seems very, very interesting in a very hot uh, topic, and so I'm very glad to welcome you uh, today. <laughs>